scorekeeping. Um, we have a couple different symbols. You guys probably know this, but just to review, we have our X is a strike. When you're keeping score, okay, you don't add the score for that frame until you roll two more times. So when you get a strike, that score doesn't get calculated until you roll two more frames. You get bonus score for that frame if you get a strike. Okay, and I'll go through what that looks like here in a second. Okay, spare, that's a little backslash. Okay, that's if you get all the pins down on two rolls. Strikes if you get all the pins down on one roll. If you get a spare, you get one bonus frame. So you don't add that frame until you bowl one more ball. Okay? Um, and then if you miss, you put a little dash in the frame. Okay? Tom, can you come up and hold this for me? This is Tom Trendowski. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> He's a doc student in our, our lab as well. He's the one I'm doing this study with. Okay, so this is just an example of, of a score, and there's another example in your uh, sheet that I'm going to give you if you'd like. Uh, but we'll just say the first frame, you got a four. What did you get in the second roll? Zero, right? You didn't get any, you didn't get any pins down. There's a dash there, so that would count as four. Okay? Your next ball, you get a five, and then you knock down the rest for a spare, okay? So this score would be blank until you roll one more ball. That ball was a seven. So what you do is you take the ten pins from the spare, right? Plus the seven from your next ball, which equals seventeen. And then you add that to your previous frame score. So seventeen plus four equals 21, okay? Then we go and we get a seven and two, that's nine more. So you add nine to 21 and you get 30, okay? Then you do a really nice job and get a strike, okay? So how many rolls do you get until you add that score? Two, right? So we roll an eight and then we roll a one. So we take our 10 pins from our strike we take our eight from our first ball. We take our one from our second ball to get 19. We add 19 to the previous frame to get 49, okay? That's fairly simple. It gets kind of tricky here when we get up and start getting spares and strikes, okay? Um, so once again, we get a spare here. We take our 10 from our spare. Our next ball is a strike. That's 10 more frames, or 10 more pins, so that would equal a score of 20. 20 plus your previous frame gives you 58, okay? So now we're, we're dealing with our strike. <coughs> we're dealing with our strike. We roll two more, we roll two more uh, times. We get a strike in our next roll. Can we add the score yet? No, we can't add the score yet. Very good, because we have to wait for another roll, okay? So we rolled a four here. So now we can finally calculate this score. We take our 10 from our strike. We take our 10 from our other strike. That's our first roll for the bonus. And we take our four from the next roll, which equals 24 plus 78, 102, okay? I know this is kind of a lot. Uh, you have papers to kind of guide this too, um, but we'll just go over it, continue to go over it for the sake of doing that. So now we have our next strike. We need two more frames, four plus two, that's 16. We add 16 to our previous, uh, our previous score. This whole concept of two rolls uh, comes into play in our last frame. That's why if you get a strike in your last frame, you get two additional rolls. Because if you get a strike, you get two bonus rolls, okay? Now, because it's the 10th frame and it's over after that, if you, add, if you roll another strike, you don't get two additional frames. 
um, but you do get an additional roll. Okay, so that's why in the tenth frame, if you roll a strike, you can roll additional two additional times um, because then you get your bonus that way. Okay.